genocide describes a specific crime or situation. The intentional destruction, which includes killing, of particular groups of people by a perpetrator, often a state, and in recent years, armed non-state groups or militias. So in very simple terms, when we talk about genocide, we mean the intended or actual extermination of a group from the face of the earth. Therefore, the existence of ideological misuse or political abuse of the word genocide should not obscure the actual meaning or the legal definition of the word and the specific crime that it describes. Now, the actual legal definition of genocide can be found in Article 2, subsection A to E of the United Nations Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of Genocide of 9th December 1948. In that document, known as the Genocide Convention, which contains the current law of genocide, there are five lethal or non-lethal acts that can be considered a genocide when committed against specific groups of people identified in the convention with the deliberate purpose of wiping them out from the face of the earth. These acts are the following. Killing members of the group, that is, intentional biological destruction of the group through physical acts of killing, causing serious bodily or mental harm to members of the group, that is, torturing or traumatizing the group with intent to ensuring their physical destruction, and deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction. In other words, dehumanizing or marginalizing the group through deliberate policies that are aimed at ensuring the eventual destruction of the group. And imposing measures intended to prevent births within the group, that is, forbidding marriages with members of the group or sterilizing members of the group in order to prevent their ability to biologically reproduce themselves. And then lastly, forcibly transferring children of the group to another group, that is to say, engaging in population transfers or deliberate assimilation policies aimed at causing the total disappearance of the group and any traces of its identity. So when any of these five actions that I have enumerated are undertaken against the following groups of people as part of an organized, deliberate, purposeful, and systematic effort or policy to exterminate the group, then genocide against the group is deemed by law to have occurred. In short, it is the harbored and actualized intent to completely or partially destroy a group that distinguishes genocide from other forms of killing. 